Hi everyone, this is bishop to 4 e strategy number 2. So I believe you're already familiar with this position in bishop 4 e strategy. Uh, Black has just dropped his lance to 3f, attacking the knight. And as I've said in the previous video, there are two options for white, uh, which is bishop to 3f taking the lance, and number 2, super drop to 6f. And by the way, you might want to also try this bishop sack here. And uh, let's drop a rook. Uh, well, maybe here, but black can calmly draw his gold back and rook check, but a very solid anchor pawn. So bishop sack is too much to do. So basically there are two options. And in this video we're going to cover bishop to 3f taking the lance. So black will recapture and then white drops the lance to 5d. So, uh, let's protect it uh, by a bishop drop, for instance. Well, if he does that, he'll add a piece there on 5g square with a knight. And uh, here's a very good pawn push to 5f. If Lance takes it, now black is fine. Uh, it's as if the pawn has moved backward. But after this pawn push, a super drop attacking a bishop, which promotes uh, King runs, uh, rook drop, but Lance goes ahead, and the horse goes ahead, takes the gold, but white recaptures that, and after this rook check, white blocks it uh, with the gold, keeping these two pieces in his hand, and now black's king isn't a threat mate, while white's king isn't, uh, so it's win for white. So, uh, bishop drop to 6f, uh, wasn't very good. So, uh, if, well, if black were to protect it with the bishop, why not drop it to 3i? In this case, it won't be attacked by the zero drop here. And, uh, well, if the knight comes over, uh, the same pawn push to 5f, but this time white has an interesting move. Knight sack to 5g, uh, bishop takes it, and lands to 5f. Okay, pawn drop, takes it, and here comes the zero drop. Uh, if the horse runs, uh, this bishop drop is pretty powerful. Uh, maybe lance drop, bishop promotion, uh, lance promotion, gold takes it, horse takes it. Uh, but white seems to be a little bit better. So uh, let's take the silver, then maybe uh, lance drop like that. F bishop drop maybe. So. This is one variation. And uh, other than this pawn push here, this horse comes over to 6f. Uh, well, then white will sack these pieces. Uh, black can keep his horse there, uh, but maybe a uh, bishop fork again. Okay, let's drop a pawn. Uh, if he takes it, uh, rook drop on 8e. So, bishop goes ahead. Well, it's a very exciting line. Promoted pawn goes back, making a room for the rook drop. Well, this pawn drop will be a very good technique, but if he drops a pawn there, uh, he can't block against this lance drop. So he can do that. So he can only go ahead, take the knight, but rook drop, uh, and it's a little bit better for black. Okay, what else? Uh, Okay, now let's see, king to 6h here, protecting the 5g square. Well, then he'll add another piece there, and that same uh, pawn push. And the zero drop is no good, it's too heavy, the king can run. Uh, so here, he drops a rook. Uh, if the horse comes back, uh, the rook can promote here. And, uh, well, if white takes this bishop, he can drop it to here, and it's no good for black. So, uh, after the rook drop, black should drop his rook too, to 4f. Uh, so now, if I can only take this pawn, but, uh, it means that white has just taken the 5f pawn with the lance. It's the same thing. So he, now, uh, black can drop a pawn. Uh, however, after gold, uh, no, uh, the king moved to 6h, actually, I can sack his lance, uh, and the king is a bit in danger. Uh, rook drop, 
Wilden Black should drop a rook to here. Ah, uh, if he drops it to 7i. Ah, uh, here comes a silver fork. If black takes it, he loses the rook. So don't do that. Uh, let's drop a rook to 5i. So rook trade here. And another rook drop. So another rook drop to 5h. But knight check. Uh, black can only go to here. Not to being forked by a silver drop here. And then the rook can promote. Or he can take this rook and drop it to here, which seems better. And, well, uh, it looks like white is better here. Uh, so now let's see uh, black's best move after that last drop to 5d. So in order to find that move, uh, we have to think it this way. Uh, does black really have to protect this 5g square? Well, what if black leaves it that way? Well, then lands will promote here. But isn't black fine by just a pawn drop in 5h? Uh, but the fact is, it isn't. Black's not fine. Because if you can find white's next move, you're really good. It's bishop sack to 8h. Uh, it's attacking the gold. And also, if black takes it, uh, checkmate. So, basically, this is the threat that white is making with this land drop. So, if black can uh, remove that threat, black doesn't have to protect the 5G square. So, here comes this idea. Let's drop a rook on the 8th file. And the best square is 8E. So, this is the Joseki line. Uh, now, it's preventing that rook drop on 8H. So if he promotes uh, this pawn drop, and black's fine. And if he goes this way, another pawn drop. Uh, maybe he desperately drops a silver, but uh, let's take out this lance, and black's okay. And even if uh, tricky moves comes over, uh, knight to 4e, uh, black can just take it. See, now the rook defense on 8h is off, but look at this, the horse is now protecting the 8 8 square, so it's fine. Uh, but when it's a horse, uh, this knight on 8i is not protected, so this time white can still go ahead and give it a try. So pawn drop, but he may desperately uh, drop the silver here, and after black takes it, uh, rook check, blocks it, and takes the gold, and he can take the knight. So actually those uh, material traits are equal. Uh, but now black can draw his horse back to 6f, and black's king is really safe. So black's better. And uh, white can also drop his silver to this side, and drop his rook to here. Uh, but you can calmly move your king to here, protecting the knight. He'll take this knight, but lands drop. And you're fine. He can't take this lance, right? So, uh, after this rook drop, White's main line is rook drop to 2e, uh, from the rook and the silver. So, uh, black can only take it. And pawn recaptures. And the best move for black is, uh, again, is rook to 8e. So, White managed to extend his pawn with zero move. Uh, it's interesting. And other than rook drop now, black can also now drop a bishop here, a new available square, uh, protecting this square, and also uh, preventing the knight from going to 4e. Uh, but simply dropping a the rook there is thought to be better. So let's see that line. Now if white uh, makes that tricky knight leap, uh, black can still take it. And this time, instead of that pawn drop in the 5h, uh, you can fork the king and the promote lance. So, uh, you can take it. Well, here's uh, this silver fork, but black can calmly deal with it. And black's okay. So that knight uh, leap to 4e is not going to work after this pawn extension. So, uh, what I should do here is, of course, he'll make the best use of that pawn. So, pawn to 2f. 
so uh, black will promote and now the black rook has promote uh, the rear anchor is free for white's knight so he can leave over uh, but this time black can uh, move his king he can promote but let's run and black is okay uh, he'll drop a rook here uh, but the fifth file pawn is taken out so black can drop his pawn to the fifth file so he can take the lands like that and what is even better he's dropped his pawn to here first and if he runs maybe a knight drop and it's difficult but black's better i guess uh, and uh, so if he takes it then pawn drop uh, so this way the pawn's attack gives more threat to the king right and if white takes this gold uh, black can even try this knight drop see you see this bishop fork king dragon fork so uh other than moving this knight over to 4e after this rook promotion white can also make use of this pawn so pawn sack and rook drop uh see rook goes back but let's uh, promote the lens now and pawn drop but uh zero drop so uh clear off clear off the pieces and maybe uh, desperately gold drop here and will black can drop a silver attacking the rook uh, forcing him to give you a gold he can only keep making that attack but this time you can just drop your lands here you've already obtained the gold so you don't need to force him to exchange the pieces anymore and if he goes ahead exchange the pieces and takes a knight uh, maybe uh, bishop fork and knight will run and it's a threat mate black king is a threat mate but uh, this check is powerful if he saves his piece in his hand uh, it will be a mate so he has to drop it uh, he can drop a knight but then gold drop and black king is fine so black is better so after all with this rook drop on 8e uh, this variation is better for black okay oh and by the way uh, there's an interesting trap made by white here uh, white can also drop a lance to 5e now it's very tempting for black to make the same joseki line and look to 8e uh, but it's a trap don't do that uh, because now this rook drop comes over attacking the silver black protects it uh, look at this land check and you lose the rook so uh in case of 5e drop well just a bishop drop is better attacking the lands okay and if this tricky moves comes over don't think with a bishop you can take it with a horse and you're fine so after all this is a consequence that follows bishop 3f variation all right, so that's all for Bishop takes 3F variation. And in video number three, uh, we're going to cover zero to 6F, which is said to be a little bit better than Bishop takes 3F today. So hope this video helped, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.